Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anna. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video. I upload every Tuesday and today we're gonna to be talking about my minimalist makeup collection. So over the years um, on YouTube, I amassed a very large collection of makeup. Some of it was bought by me, some of it was sent to me, um, and a lot of it I didn't use. Today I'm sharing what I've kind of winnowed it down to. I do have a little cheeky bag of some extra stuff stuffed away um, under my bathroom counter for a rainy day. It's just products I'm too afraid I'll miss if I get rid of. Um, but what I'm gonna be sharing with you is what sits out on my bathroom counter, the products that I use on a very regular basis. So hopefully this gives you an insight into what my favorite products are, what I use on a regular basis. And if you're just starting out um, and trying to put together kind of your makeup collection, these are my absolute favorites and these are the ones that I would recommend to you. So let's get into the video. Okay, so we're starting with foundations and concealers. I actually don't use foundation, I use CC creams, and this looks like a lot of products, but these have two different use cases. So first I have light coverage, which is the Thrive Cosmetics Buildable Blur CC Cream and the Tarte Shape Tape. This is like my weekend face, or if my skin's really good and I just want very light coverage. Then if I want something that's more full coverage, I'll use my IT Cosmetics CC Cream, which you can see is very well loved, and my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. And this is more full coverage. This is a CC cream, but it's very buildable, and I would say it's more comparable to a foundation. Um, so if my skin's not quite as good, or I want just a little bit more of a flawless face, this is the combination that I'll use. So both of these combinations give you a bit of a dewy finish, which I personally like, but if I do want more of a matte look, I will add this Too Faced Born This Way powder. So that's the basics for my skin. So moving on to blush, highlighter, things like that. One of my favorite products to use with my more light coverage face is the Drunk Elephant um, Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops. If I'm a little bit more tan, I'll mix this in with my CC cream and apply this all over the face, and it gives you a really pretty bronzy glow. I'll also use this almost as a bronzer, like a cream bronzer, along the hollows of my cheeks, things like that for a very natural bronze. As you'll notice, I don't have a bronzer. That's something I should add to my collection, but I'm not a big bronzer user, especially because my blush, which I'll talk about next, doubles as a bronzer. So so my everyday blush is Max Soft and Gentle. I love this blush. I've been using it for years and it just complements my skin tone so well. It's kind of a bronzy peach with a little bit of gold shimmer and it doesn't leave your cheeks too rosy. Um, it's a little bit more of a bronzy color which is why I don't usually feel the need for a bronzer except for in the summer when I get really dark. If I'm in the mood for a cream blush instead, I love Glossier's Cloud Paint in Dusk. Again, it's kind of more of a mauvey pink, not super, super pink, um, so it looks very natural on and I love this product. Then for highlighter, it's actually been a while since I had one in my collection, but I recently picked this up. It's Tarte's Shape Tape Glow Wand, and it's in the color A Glow. So I actually really love this product. It's subtle but buildable, um, and it just gives a really pretty shine to the tops of your cheekbones. For brows, I have one product, and that is the Benefits Precisely My Brow Pencil, and I love this. It it has a super fine tip, as you can see, which makes it really easy to draw in all of the little details of your eyebrows. And then on the other side, it has a spoolie, which is really convenient, so it's all I need for my brows. I don't use a gel, just this one product. For eyes, I keep it very simple. I have one palette. I customized a palette at MAC, and these are just the four colors that I use for my everyday looks. So this is Kid, I put this in my crease. This is Naked Lunch, I put that as a lid highlight and under the brow bone. Here is Ground Brown. I like to use this as a liner, and then if I'm doing a more intense look, I'll use a little bit of this in the crease. And then again, if I wanna vamp up the look a little bit, I'll use a little bit of Hawks in the crease as well. So I can create a lot of different looks with this that range from everyday to a little bit more vampy if I'm going out. And um, it's a great everyday palette, and I love not having to deal with carting around a bunch of palettes when I travel or a bunch of single eyeshadows. This is just everything that I need. For my primer, I use Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. For mascara, I use the L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes Mascara. This is a drugstore mascara, but I absolutely love it. Recently, I've tried out a number of more expensive mascaras, and I've always come back to this one. I love the brush, I love the formulation, and 
and it just makes my lashes look so long, so voluminous, and then they don't get clumpy, which is my biggest issue with most mascaras. For liner, I use the L'Oreal Infallible Carbon Black liner and this I just use on my tight line like I said I use the brown eyeshadow as liner on my lid and then I've still kept a number of my palettes um, just because I hate to throw them away and they're still perfectly good um, and I just save those for if I'm ever doing someone else's makeup or it's a special occasion and I want more colors things like that but the only one that sits out regularly is the Naked 3 by Urban Decay um, as you can see it's pretty well loved and has been dropped clearly, um, but I love the warm tones that are in this palette and I find myself reaching for this over the other Naked palettes probably the most often these days, though I do love the original Naked palette. But this is definitely an optional in my makeup collection. I would be totally fine with my customized MAC palette. It's just, you know, sometimes you're craving a little bit more color variation. And then the last thing for eyes is my eyelash curler. This is just a Tweezerman eyelash curler. It's their rose gold one. I think it's so pretty, um, but I definitely have lash curler as an essential in my eye makeup routine. Lips has been the hardest area to narrow down because it's the one you want the most options in, but I have narrowed it down to four products and there's really only three that I use on a regular basis. The biggest essential in my lip routine is the Smith's Rosebud Salve. I love this. It's just such a good moisturizing lip product. Um, I use it all the time and it's the first thing that goes on my lips in the morning after I've brushed my teeth. Then I love the NYX liquid lipsticks. Um, these are awesome. They stay on so well and they're a bit drying, but if you use them in combination with the Rosebud Salve, they're great. The first one that I have is Bedtime Flirt. This almost perfectly matches my natural lip color. It's slightly more rosy, and so I love wearing this on an everyday basis. This is probably my most frequently used product. And then the second one is slightly more rosy. It's in the shade Bottoms Off, and I love it for, again, every day, especially in the summer, if I want something that's just a little bit more color than um, bedtime flirt. And then my last two are by Bite and they are my two fun colors. So this is their lip crayon. This is in the color Licorice and it's a very vampy color. Um, I use it in the fall time when I want to do a statement bold lip. And then the second one is in the color Fress, which is a really pretty strawberry red. It's not the perfect red. I'm still in search of the perfect bold red color, but this is the one I have in my collection for now. And this probably gets the least use, but every once in a while you wanna do a red lip, and so I keep this guy around. All right, so these are my brushes, and I would say I use almost all of them every day. Um, these are all by Sigma. Some of them the names have worn off, but I will link them on the screen. The first one is a powder brush. Then I have their large angled contour brush, which I use for my blush. Then I have their flat top kabuki brush. This is what I use for my foundation every once in a while, but um, it's pretty rare. I usually just use my fingers. This name has worn off, but this is just a dome brush. I use this for shimmery shadows, just all over the lid and under the brow bone. This is their diffused crease brush. I obviously use this for crease colors. I like to use this for my lightest crease colors and for blending out all the crease colors at the end. This is their blending brush. I actually like to use this to apply darker colors more precisely into the crease because it's a little bit more dense than the crease brush. This is their pencil brush and I just use this to apply colors along my lower lash line. And then finally, this is their angled brow brush but I use this to apply liner on my upper lash line. And those are all of the brushes. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. It really supports my channel and don't forget that subscribe button. Also, leave me a comment letting me know what your favorite products are or if you were stranded on a deserted island, what your three products would be. I think mine would be my Thrive CC Cream, my Tarte Shape Tape, and probably my Benefit brow product. Uh, so let me know what yours would be in the comments below and I'm curious to read them. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next Tuesday for another video. Bye guys.